welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm going to be making a chickpea and wild rice salad. I know most people associate chickpeas with like stews and maybe hummus and then other people associate wild rice with Thanksgiving, but I have both so I'm going to put them both together and I'm going to be showing you what I use. So I have some uh, garbanzo beans that I did soak overnight and I had cooked them up. This I had in the fridge already for a couple of days, just in plain water. I have a really good handful of both basil and mint. I have a jicama that I'm only going to be using half, as well as some cucumber, celery, scallion, my wild rice and the wild rice I prepared in half water and half orange and Meyer lemon juice so I will have notes on that in the description box. For my dressing I'm going to keep it really simple and just use a white wine vinegar as well as really good olive oil, salt, and pepper. So I basically want to chop up everything. Um, I think I'm actually going to slice up the celery on a diagonal. Same thing with the scallion, you're going to slice it up. Um, I like to do it on a diagonal, but you can slice it however you want. And the green onion will give it kind of a little bit of a bite um, since the rice is a little bit sweet. And the garbanzos, I went, you know, very plain. I didn't even salt while they were cooking. So for the cucumber, I took some of the skin off, but um, just with a vegetable peeler. But otherwise, I am going to leave it intact. And I'm going to be quartering this and slicing it thin. I'm using an English cucumber, but you can use whatever you have. Now, for your jicama, you are going to want to peel this. Um, I'm going to only use half or maybe even less than half. So I'm going to go ahead and cut it. And then you could do this with a vegetable peeler. I like to use a sharp paring knife and just kind of go around to peel the skin. I feel I have more control and it does a better job than the vegetable peeler alone. Also a lot better to peel when you have it cut in half. The flat edge kind of gives you a better grip. Um, now if you're unfamiliar with jicama, it is kind of in between a radish and potato. It's very crunchy, very watery, but a little bit starchy. So I'm going to go ahead and slice this in three, and then I'm going to, again, cut this pretty thin. This way you kind of get just a crunchy whisper. If you don't have jicama, you can go ahead and use radish. These are very mild in flavor though. They're not spicy at all. And for your herbs, I'm gonna do this separately. I'm gonna do the basil first, then the mint. But basically I've stacked up my basil and I'm sure you've seen other people do this. You're gonna roll it tight. Um, I hold it with my fingers and then I go through once or just to make the, the slices in half, so kind of doubles the amount, I guess. And then you're gonna go ahead and slice it the other way thinly. The mint is gonna be a little difficult because it's just a smaller leaf, but I went ahead and folded it in half and actually, And then just try to hold it as taut as possible and same thing. So now 
now that I have everything in my bowl, I am going to season this pretty aggressively. Um, whoa, it's kind of a lot. I would say do a good teaspoon of salt, if not a little bit more. Um, really, the only thing that's seasoned in here is the wild rice. And then a lot of cracked black pepper. Normally, when I do this, I don't measure my dressing. I'm just going to do it in the bowl. Um, I'm going to go in with my vinegar first. If I had to guess, um, I would say maybe two tablespoons of vinegar. And then my extra virgin olive oil. And I'm going to, again, guess maybe about three tablespoons of olive oil and then you're just going to combine everything after you've mixed it you do want to taste it you just want to make sure that obviously it tastes good you know um, if you need to adjust for salt pepper the olive oil or vinegar, go ahead and do that. And then if you're doing this for a potluck, I would say clean up the sides of your bowl. But that is it. Now this turned out really delicious. Um, it's kind of one of those things that you look at and you're like, I made that. It definitely has a feel of a Mediterranean type of salad because of the basil and the mint. It's really nice to have like the chewy of the rice and the beans and then the crunchy from the vegetables. It's also a really good dish to make in advance if you are again going to a potluck or you're just having a big meal. You can easily double this if needed or you can um, make less of it again if needed. The longest part to this would be preparing the rice. Um, so for the wild rice, I cooked it in half water, and then the other half was mostly orange juice, and I did use fresh, only because I had it and I had to use it, um, as well as one and a half Meyer lemons. Again, I just had it and I really had to use it. This is a very, this is a very bright tasting salad, as well as very filling. You can. Eat it alone or if you wanted to serve it on a bed of spinach or arugula or any other type of lettuce you can do that thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this recipe i will have it in the description box so please be sure to take a look at that and as always please like and subscribe to my channel i'll see you next time bye